Good morning, everyone. Today we are doing something a little different. We're gonna talk about some of our favorite puppy products. For those of you who don't know, we have a golden doodle. She is 17 weeks old. Her name is Rue. I was hesitant to get a dog for a long time because there are a lot of responsibility and I knew that and I was just wanting to be really prepared if we ever did do that. And now here I am making a video about her favorite things because I love her and we're best friends. She's my best friend. Anyway, Jessica did a ton of research before we got Rue and she bought a bunch of stuff for us to use with her. A lot of what you're gonna see here is the result of us trying a whole bunch of different things and finding the things that work the best for our puppy. And I wanted to pass that knowledge on to you. We'll start off with something fun. This is the Kong Wubba. Kong is a dog toy brand that's very popular. This is like, it's a squeezy thing and it's wrapped in fabric, it has these like tentacles. Rue loves this thing. This has been the go-to sort of fetch toy. She loves chasing it. She likes that these things are here because she'll do that with her head and it smacks her on the side of her face and for some reason she likes that. She's a dog. But yeah, you can throw it really far. She'll, she'll grab it, squeeze it, bring it back to you. It's a dog toy, but it's her favorite dog toy. I would say this is her favorite dog toy. Close runner up to that has been this log. <laughs> and this log has holes in it. There are little squirrels. I'm not sure what we're encouraging here with this toy, but there are little squirrels that squeak when, when she finds them. And there's, I don't know if there's like four or five of them in here, but she loves just like going for it, taking them out of here, squeezing them, and then looking for the next one. Uh, this is from Zippy Paws. And it's just like, it's a log. It's a little stuffed log with little stuffed squeaky squirrels. One thing that I've learned about Rue is she doesn't really like eating food from a bowl. She wants a challenge. So uh, we have found a whole bunch of different puzzles. We have ones that slide, ones that like have little doors that open and close. She likes all of them. This one's my personal favorite. You can hide uh, treats or kibble or like apple slices or, or carrots or, you know, different things inside of these compartments. And then she has to sort of nudge it with her nose and get to it. The reason I like this one the best is it can hold a lot of food, which is good. It is challenging. Like, it's even hard for me sometimes going like, where is the empty one? How do I, I've got to line these up before I can find it. She enjoys that challenge of it. It doesn't come apart. A lot of the ones with little flappy doors, the flappy doors come off of the thing. So like, after she's flapped it open, she'll chew it and pull the little door off. There's also ones that have these little bones that cover up the food and she nudges those away with her nose. And then you've got these little like plastic bone things that she chews on. She likes all the puzzles, but for me personally, I kind of had a hard time with the fact that she could get these small pieces off of the puzzle and then chew on them. I just didn't like fishing them out of her mouth or cleaning it up afterward. This seems like it's all self-contained and a little bit safer. Uh, this one is made by Outward Hound and it's the Nina Autosan, or maybe it's, made by Nina Autosan, and it's the Outward Hound, but either way, it's some combination of those words. But I highly recommend it. This one, this, I like this a lot. It's a lot of fun. Sort of along the same vein is this, it's the Lamb Twick Snuffle Mat, I think is what this is called. And basically, it just kind of looks like a rug. You put food on here, and then you go over it with your hands like this, and it kind of gets embedded into the rug, and then she like noses around in here and finds the food. She's way more happy eating food out of this than out of a bowl. So uh, if I'm just gonna give her, you know, some kibble and some like minnows, or um, something that's dry. I'll usually put it on here and rub it in and then she'll nose around and find it. We have been using wellness kibble. She transitioned from a, a different kibble that she was eating when we first got her. We also like to mix that up with some fresh things. On our first visit to the vet, we asked her what the diet should be and she sort of recommended this particular 
thing that we're doing. So we're, we're following our vet's advice on, on how we're feeding her. And it's going really well. I think she's, she's super healthy and having a great time with it. She's a good little eater. This is actually Jacob's. It's a little uh, treat pouch. It's magnetic. It's made by Ollie Dog and you put it around your waist like a belt. You can also clip it to a belt loop with this clip here. And it's really easy, you just go like this and then you can reach inside and grab a little treat for Rue. And at first I was like, I'm not gonna wear that. I'm too cool. And now I, I totally wear this all the time. <laughs> Originally I was like, I had a handful of treats and then I would try and take one out and then give her the one treat as the reward. And it just like, and I was holding a leash and it's, it just didn't work out. So having your hands free with something like this where you can just reach in and grab it, this was really cool and so, recommend it. Rue has probably six different brushes slash combs and um, I like all of them but I wanted to point out this one. This is called Hertz Go. Hertz Go. It's a slicker brush and it pops out like this and you brush her. Uh, Rue is a, a dog that does not shed and she also has curly hair and so you need to brush her constantly. We brush her at least once a day most of the time, it's like two or three times a day. This brush is is really good for her because it it gets in deep. It it really, you know, brushes out the hair, and any hair that like gets caught in these little tiny tines there, when you go like this, they stay on the outside. It's really easy to just put it into the trash. You're not like scraping it out of a brush. I really like that feature of this. Plus, when it's put away, you know, it's not gonna like snag on anything. So a lot of people use Kongs and we have Kongs and we've tried to use them with Rue and she she does like them, but I actually might prefer this particular thing a little bit better. I think these are sold separately, these two pieces. This is the Westpaw Design Zogo Flex and it has these sort of like little fingers in it. So you can stuff like carrots and apples in here or she really likes these dried minnows. We'll put those in there. It's like the whole fish. You can stuff it with stuff like that and peanut butter and it makes it sort of a challenge for her to get her tongue in there and, and, and work at it and try and get all that stuff out. Another thing you can do with it though is if you have two of them, they're interlocking and you could put dry stuff in here, treats and kibble and stuff like that in here and then it's got these holes and because of those fingers in there, it sort of makes it a little more challenging to get the stuff out. So she's got to roll this around with her nose until stuff comes out of the, the holes on here. It's not as messy and time consuming. If you really, you just need to get her brain working on something and you don't have a Kong already like set up in the freezer, you just throw some stuff in here and then she'll chase it around. She doesn't do this yet, but apparently dogs like to like play with these like they're balls too. So you could like throw this and they can chew on it. And it's a cool texture. Uh, so this this has been a really cool thing. I recommend this as well. This is the Zogo Flex by Westpaw Design. This thing is great. We've gone on a couple long car rides with Rue and this came in handy every single time. Rue's just at the end of her Parvo vaccinations. So she hasn't been like going to the park and stuff a whole lot, but we have <laughs> carried her out of the car and onto a blanket at the park so she can socialize while while we're out there. That way she's not touching the ground, which is how the virus gets spread. In a couple days, she'll be free to do whatever, but we've been really cautious with her. Anyway, when we're out and about at the park on a blanket or in the, in the van going on a road trip, uh, this is a water thing and it's got measurements on the side and you flip it up like this. and twist this little thing and you squeeze it and this fills up with water and she can put her snout in there and just lick and get the water that she needs. And then at the end, you, you twist it shut, put it down like this, put it back in her doggy bag and it's, it's all self-contained. And I, when I first saw this, my engineer mind was like, that's not gonna work. There's no way, that's gonna be impractical. And it's awesome. This is made by Petniff. Pet in F, something like that. We've also been using a training program called Baxter and Bella. I recommend it. It's been great. We've done video calls with them and they have a ton of video content that we've used to learn how to train Rue and really sort of training ourselves in how to speak to Rue, how to act around Rue and how to best get her uh, in the mindset to learn. One of the things that they've recommended, which has worked extremely well for us, is to give Rue a crate, which is her safe place. That's where she 
likes to take a nap or go to sleep at night. It is a space that she knows is hers. The kids are not allowed in there. Even if Rue's like not in the house at all, the kids are not allowed. We don't want her, their scent in there. That is her space. And it is a place where we've never ever forced her into it or put her into it. We encourage her to go into it and, and she loves it. She took to it right away. She goes in, we give her treats all the time. She's got a water dish in there. And that mixed with the cover that we got for it has been a really, really great spot for her. Our house can be a little chaotic. We have five kids, one on the way, and they're all into musical theater. So it's loud in our house. And that is a place where she can kind of go to get away from it all, know that she's safe, know that nothing uh, is gonna disturb her there. That's been really, really great. And the cover has really helped her, I think, uh, sleep through the night as well. So there's a cloth cover that I think Jessica had to special order because the the crate we got was like a weird dimension initially. So this is a specialty order. Like she couldn't get it just standard off of Amazon. So with this on the crate, it sort of mimics a den, a dog's den, which is a natural place where a dog would sleep out in the wild. And she liked the crate before we got that, and then we put that on, and it seems like she likes it even more. Like she wants to go in there and lie down and cool off. I was editing this and I realized I forgot something yesterday. This is a licky mat. With this, you spread some like Greek yogurt or some peanut butter on it. Gotta make sure that peanut butter doesn't have any xylitol. And she licks it off of this. Golden Doodles are super smart, and things like this and the different puzzles that we got her really help her exercise her brain without her getting into trouble. It's rewarding good behavior and good problem solving and sort of giving her something to do that's not her <laughs> getting into something that she shouldn't get into. So these have been really awesome. These are licky mats and they're made by a bunch of different companies and have a bunch of different designs and they're great. As I said before, we are using a dry kibble as part of her diet. I've had dogs in the past when I was little and I knew that like finding a good thing to keep the kibble in was important because you didn't want the dog to knock it over or get into it. You wanted it to be clean. You wanted it so that uh, bugs couldn't get into it. We have protein ants where we live. Like they're not the regular like sugar ants that go after sugar. These ones specifically go after protein. And there have been times when a little kibble has been on the ground and we've got a line of ants going for it. So I wanted something airtight. I love the container that we got. Like, I didn't think I would include this in any video about the like trash can-esque container that we have, but it's really great. It's airtight and it has a magnetic scoop that lives in the lid. So when we open it up, the scoop's always there. It has a place. I love when things have a place. It's on wheels because it can get pretty heavy when it's full. It's just a really, really good container. I do think it was a little bit expensive, like more expensive than we were planning on spending, but, uh, Having had it now, I don't think I would have been happier with anything else. Like it is, it's really, really a good food container. Anyway, that's it. That's that's all of uh, my recommendations for for puppy stuff that that's worked for us. I'm sure in the future I'll be uh, posting more stuff about Rue and about the things that she likes and dislikes. But uh, for now, I just wanted to focus on the positive and talk about the things that have been working really, really well for her. And let us know in the comment section, is there something that worked really well for your dog or that you've heard works really well for dogs that we should try or check out? I think a lot of what we've tried in the past and some of these things that I've shown here have come from the comment section when we said that we were getting a dog. So. Let, let me know in the comment section. We love reading your comments and uh, it really means a lot to us. Thank you so much for watching and we will see you next time. <laughs>